Coach Shea's resignation triggered immediate response on campus and in the community. Ansley Daniels has been following the story. What are you hearing? Sarah, the university's written statement on Shea's departure mentioned nothing about the national anthem controversy, but reactions to his departure seem squarely focused on that one decision that came almost two months ago. Too early to draw any conclusions, but um, certainly a lot of questions need to be asked. Questions on campus Tuesday night after the departure of Coach Shea. When you have a coach who is really handpicked to lead the program and he's leaving after one year, I think you, you know, there are questions that come logically from that. While there's been no official confirmation, many seem convinced Shea's resignation was forced after his support of the basketball team's national anthem protest. I can't see other, any other reason to ask him for a resignation, um, except for the fact that he supported his students in doing something that that the community just, or, you know, other people outside the university just didn't support. But others think Shea bears part of the blame. He did bad with PR and he did bad with uh, development of players. Uh, and I just think uh, losing the trust of the boosters really hurting. And it also felt like the basketball program kind of tried to hide it from us, uh, so to speak. Um, you know, try to keep it keep it out of the public view. As the search for a new coach is on, fans worry about what this means for the program's future. The team that he put together was could be could have been outstanding. And um, I just I worry about the being able to bring student athletes in, especially uh, you know, student athletes of color. I reached out to the university to ask President Dr. Brian Noland about the questions surrounding Jason Shea's resignation. My questions were referred to the athletics director and I'm still waiting to hear back tonight. Josh.